gonna believe this This is so crazy I can't This is getting me so angry oh, I can't believe that cat He's driving me crazy I am just getting so upset Oh my goodness, oh my goodness Oh, this is crazy oh, 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 I get What? Oh, little wee king now What is him there be the trouble? Oh, Piggy, this is crazy But I am getting so upset Why is everybody making me so mad? Oh, little kingy, this is not the way to this, this is not the way to handle this. You are getting a little crazy now. What seems to be the trouble? Well, this is the problem. I am so upset with this cat. Do you know this cat? Every week I get this cat. One week he tells me to go and find a go-kart and then go into a jello. And then I do that and I get all upset and get messy. Oh, then there was this other time he told me to go find other and just get this cat is driving me crazy. Oh my goodness. Now listen here, little king. This is not the way to handle it, no. Now let's think about it a better way. How about it? What do you mean a better way? I'm angry! This is what I do when I get angry. I get angry! Ah! Oh, oh dear. Then, <laughs> um, are you all right? <sighs> this is... Uh, I'm just trying to get myself. I just want to take that cat. I want to talk to him. I want to yell at him. I want to do something. Well, how now? I think you will need to start to think a little bit more about how to handle your anger. My anger? That is the problem. I am angry. Yes, but you need to think about what to do with that anger, Mr. King. You know, you need to stop. You know what, eh? I think it's a very good idea to think about wisdom when you think about anger. Wisdom? Wisdom? Oh, yes. Not this again. Why do we always have to think about wisdom, wisdom, wisdom? Well, there, King. You see... Wisdom comes into everything, and when it comes to anger, it's the same idea. You know, there's these books, Proverbs. It says, a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Ah, uh, wait a minute. How am I supposed to be gentle when this cat is going me, making me so mad? Well, let's stop and think here. How about we think about five? Can you say your alphabet up to A, B? A? B. Um, that is about as far as I can go. Oh, dear. Well, dear King, we'll work on that later. But the five letters of A, B, C, D, E are a good way to stop and think. And then think about how we can re re remind ourselves how to calm down. A, B, C. Okay, okay. What are you talking about? Well, let's start with A. A means to stop and it's an alarm. It's an alert. It's uh, to admit that you are angry. Well, I know that I am angry. What's next? Well, B means to breathe. How about you take a breath, Mr. King? <sighs> oh, dear. Once again. Um, King, are you all right down there? Um, do you need any help? I'm trying to breathe. I'm trying. It's just so hard. <sighs> Well, now that's good. Now take a breath, that's good. Now, C means to count. Can you count there, Kingy? Count? That's not as hard as my ABCs. But uh, it's a one and two, uh, three, right? Yes, very good. So when you count your breathing and counting, it calms you down now. And then with a D, you can decide what it is you want to do. You know, like, is it best to go maybe take a break somewhere, read a book, go somewhere and uh, maybe take a walk before you start talking to this cat? Oh, you mean to actually decide what to do? That's crazy! Uh, well, okay, hmm. That is, um, I think I could take a walk. That is always a good idea. And then finally, then you think about how to engage with the cat. What is this word? Well, engage means talk to. So in this case, how do you want to talk to the cat? You don't want to get so angry that you yell at him and then don't have any opportunity to talk to him and figure things out. Oh, that is a good plan. Piggy, you're a very smart little lady. I don't understand how you become so wise, but I need to figure this out, this wisdom. And I will try to do better as a king to be a wise king. Oh, that is so, that, that's great. Come along, king. I'll help you with your ABCs now. Come on. It goes like this. A, B, C. Hey there, kids. It's me again, Andrew Poe, the pastor to children here at Covenant Church, and I am so glad that you're back. Hey, wasn't that crazy? King Looney got a little bit crazy there. That, <laughs> so angry. I'm sure that never happens to any of us, right? 
Well, to be honest, that happens to a lot of us. We all get angry, and anger is one of those feelings that happens. We all have a feeling of anger at one time or another, right? But the question is whether it's a good anger or not, and then also it's a feeling, but how do we act on that feeling? How do we handle that feeling? So when I say is it a good anger or not, that kind of comes down to whether or not you're thinking when you're angry, I am out for somebody, I want to get even with somebody, I am just so angry, I just want to go crazy. Or is there something that actually is worthy of being angry about? What could that be? Well, think about it this way. Like if you had a bully picking on somebody that was smaller and you weren't angry about that or you didn't feel like this was wrong, that might be a, a time to stop and think and be like, how this is not right, how do I handle this? How do I step into this? And anger in that moment might be very good. But still, how do we handle anger? If you remember, we had this lovely tree to talk about uh, our obedience, our work, our words, time, money, friends, and choices. Well, this kind of fits under choices, but the idea is how do we handle our anger? And so what I wanted to do today was to actually uh, have a little craft to remind us when it's time that we get angry, what do we do? As you heard from our friends, I think it was uh, Penelope the pig there, she was talking all about taking five steps, and it kind of reminded me of your hand. And so what I'm going to do is I want you to grab a piece of paper. You can actually do this by what I'm going to do is trace my hand, but you can also um, take and get a stamp pad. Uh, you can take even paint if your parents will let you and you know put some paint on your hand and make a handprint and let it dry. Or you can do what I just did, which is just basically take a, my hand and trace it. Now, what were the things that she talked about? We had the A, B, C's, right? So I'm just going to put an A, a B, C, D, E on each of those fingers. And with that, we're going to think about when it's, when it's like, oh my goodness, I'm getting angry, and I just want to act out, and I want to hurt someone or you know, make a big temper tantrum. How do we stop? How do we, how do we handle that? So with those ABCs that our friend Penelope talked about, I'm just going to grab a different color here. The first thing was to basically, there's a couple A words here, but you can think of it as an alarm. This is like, ding, 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 I am angry. Now what am I going to do about it? It would also be just admit. Sometimes we get angry and we're just so caught up in that anger that we just don't know how to handle it, and we don't even want to admit that we're angry. We feel like it's fine. But if we stop and we admit, that's even the best first step. What's B? B was to take a breath, right? To breathe. It's always good to breathe through your nose and out through your mouth and just to start relaxing your body. Because if you can't relax your body, if it starts getting more and more and more tense, you're never going to be able to stop and to think. And so what is the next idea? We have the C being count. It's great to count from like 1 to 10, or count backwards from 5 to 0. Anything that starts to calm your body down again, to be able to start thinking clearly. Because if you're just in a rage, you're never going to be able to handle the situation well. And that lead us, leads us to D, which is decide. This is the point where we're going to talk a little bit more about options here. But decide means, what are you going to do in the moment to help yourself calm down and to think about what to do next. So this could be a variety of things. In fact, let's stop here now and think about those. What could you do? Well, you could, and what I'd like you to do if you have your handprint, is to then put these around your hand. So what could you do? You could read a book. You could go to a quiet place. That could be your bedroom. That could be a special little fort. That could be any place that you find to just be a quiet place to calm yourselves down. You could um, draw a picture. You could write in a journal. So what I want you to do is to figure out different things that may even work for you. Because for some people, this wouldn't work for everybody. So you need to think about what works for you that in the moment you're angry, now you've breathed. Now you've counted. Now what do you need to do next to help you start thinking better? And take a moment, write some of these ideas down. What I'm going to have you do afterwards is put this somewhere in your, your bedroom so you can think about these when you have this moment. And finally, the last word, which King Looney did not understand, 
was to engage. Now that's a big word, a kind of a weird word, but all that really means is go back and talk. So how are you going to actually handle the situation with the person you're angry with? So engage. How do you address the situation? So if there's a person who's getting you angry, it could be your parents. Maybe it's something like they make you get off your video games. And so how do you want to handle that? Well, you may be immediately angry, but if you stop, you breathe, you count, you take a moment, you come back and you talk to your parents, asking them maybe for a, extra time, asking them what, uh, is, is, what is their plan, just sharing with them in a calm way your perspective. It always helps the situation. So this is what I want you to think about. Um, and then as we think about the verse, uh, Penelope gave one verse that talked about how anger, um, if we just react with anger, it's not going to help the situation, right? If we respond in an anger to angry tone, our parents or our friends are just probably going to get angrier and fight back. But her response to King Looney was a gentle answer. We'll turn away the wrath. Well, here's another verse, and this is found in James, another great book. We had Proverbs, and this is also called a wisdom book. It's James. It's found in the New Testament. And this is a great verse to stop and think about. It says, everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Again, that is quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. If these quick, slow, slow is in your mind as you're even maybe taking that moment to decide what to do next, this should help you to reframe your mind. One last thing as I'm thinking about it. Here's my handprint again with my letters. You know, they admit alarm, breathe, count, decide, engage. Finally, last week, you heard from our friend one thing about time when you have to make a decision to stop, to think, and to pray. So I have this S as for stop, T for think, and P for pray. And the question then comes after that is, what would the Holy Spirit have me do or say? So STP, stop, think, pray. Let's do that again. Stop, think, pray. What would the Holy Spirit have me do or say? And when we take all of this into one idea, if you're going to stop, that could be breathing and counting. If you're thinking, that's deciding. And before you go and engage, you should pray. Those are your three steps right there. So stop. I'm going to put your hands up. Stop. Think. Pray. Ready? Let's do it again. Stop. Think. Pray. What would the Holy Spirit have me do or say? And if you are thinking about those ideas, and I hope that you then can also put your handprint somewhere in your bedroom, so that when you have this moment of anger, that wisdom will come into play. And really, in the end, who is it that gives us the wisdom? As we talked about with my tree here, it's all about the idea of being planted in Jesus so that you can grow in Jesus. And if you're not planted in Jesus, recognizing that he's everything, that he is your hope, that he is your one to rescue you in the moments when you're angry, and that you can cry out to him anytime, if you're not planted in that, you won't grow. And so growing in anger, growing in our ability to handle our anger, is a beautiful picture of wisdom. And so I will pray for you guys as you think about this and as you put up your hand to remind you of how to handle your anger. Um, this is a beautiful opportunity to grow in Jesus. And so I hope that that's something that you can work on this week. And I will see you again next week.